Do 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 so, um, Dan did a boo-boo, thankfully not as bad as this one. <laughs> Dan injured himself last week, there was a few hospital visits, and since then we've been trying to catch up on some stuff. So, the challenge review is late, that was always going to be a tight one last week, because the first Friday of the month was so close to the first of the month, um, so we've had to like move it over into essentially the second week. So this week's video has moved into next week and we put a filler in for last week. So weekly videos are all going ahead. If you haven't already, please do remember to press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. The bell icon will help you out because it'll give you a notification every single time I upload a video. I upload every week and sometimes more than that if I feel like it and if I have time. Challenge for June was something different. The something different challenge. The something different challenge has been absolutely incredible to look through and I've been watching the entries going in over on Instagram all month and I can only say a massive well done to everybody who has gone out of their way to give this one a go. There were more entries than what we have got up on the screen at the moment. Um, the reason why they are not showing here is A, they may not have been entered correctly, or B, people are still entering multiple images, or C, uh, it was not something different. On your feed, there were multiple images that were quite similar. So that could be why your image is not here. Please triple check all of those things uh, before you ask us why, because it's quite difficult to answer all of those messages. Something different. I have gone through the feeds and basically kind of checked that these are something different. Also, massive thanks for everybody who put a caption with why this was something different for you, because those are really helpful to have a look at. As always, we're in Lightroom Classic at the moment, and we have cropped out the names, but these are obviously Instagram screenshots. Oh, I'm so excited to do this. Look at the variety. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, absolutely brilliant. Right, so usual marking criteria applies, everybody. We're going to be looking for clipped highlights, clipped shadows, compositional stuff, uh, niche specific things where relevant. And yeah, so let's just get started. First one here is a pony. Everybody knows I love ponies. Uh, this image I like, I just think that at the moment the focal point of the image is the nose, which is a bit unusual, and I don't mind unusual, I just feel like the eye should have been the sharpest point of the image, and we should have had more of the head, and if not, go ahead and crop right up in there, make it abstract, and focus on just the nose. So this is one of those ones where you kind of do the ball thing and it flips, but this is instead with a lens, it seems, um, and actually this is really nicely done. I really like this. I think it's super creative, and I think that the dog capture in the middle is great. I would have questioned why this was not rotated, just personally, so I would probably have either flipped it vertical or gone ahead and done a full rotation just so that the dog was the right way up, but that's just me personally. This is super sweet. I think this is a really good action shot. Um, great, great work in terms of things like the focus. Maybe a little bit over sharpened on the face, but I'm not going to be that picky about it. Good background, good separation, good exposure. Just watch those highlights in your brightest, brightest bits because your highlights are currently super hot with some over 97% white. So just be careful of those areas. This is a cute little pony. And if you're not used to photographing horses, then horses can be, you know, completely new. Um, somebody said the other day, which I really enjoyed, at least dogs don't try and eat the scenery. Like a good one, because that is true. This is a really nice image of this pony. It is forwards, was stood reasonably well. It's a, it's a Shetland from what I can tell. So it's, it's a small little pony. Great that they've got right down to ground level. Um, and it's good that we don't have the horizon chopping through like the head and the neck. So I think this is a really nice image. Good use of the location for framing. I like it. 
this is a bit of an interesting one. This seems like we're shooting through a window, I think, for this, because you've got that kind of like hazy feel. There's some color casts going on as well. And the composition is just a little bit too tight on all sides. It would be good to have a little bit more space on the left so that the ear hair was all in and then more space on the right for the dog to look into. If you're not sure on composition, go ahead and watch the composition video. If you want another composition video with a little bit more in-depth bits and pieces in there, please do let me know in the comments below and I'll work one out for you. I like this image. I can't help but get a feeling that there's a halo around the horse's ears. Um, let's go ahead and try and identify. Okay, so do you see how, I can't let go, but do you see how around the horse's ears, there's like uh, a black ring. That is a halo here around the ears. Just be careful that you don't over treat certain areas um, in, in this kind of a situation. I think it's good, maybe a little bit too much contrast, but great use of uh, a great pose from the horse, a good pose from the, uh, from the owner there. Nice that they're both looking in the same direction. Winner, winner, chicken dinner on that one. Awesome work. Beautiful golden now sunshine. Landscape, everybody knows landscapes are not my forte, um, but I, uh, I know enough about them to be able to make an assessment. This one, I feel it would have been nice to have a little bit more interest in the foreground. So the foreground at the moment, we've just got these flowers. It would have been nice to have these um, sharper with it being a landscape image because we've gone for infinity focus here which is fine it would have just been nice to have some of these at least this midsection of flowers in focus as well because it would have given us some foreground interest um, if that foreground interest could have led us through the image up to the background that would have been even better it's a good sky um, I think it's a well handled image this is really interesting. You can tell that somebody has gone really creative and gone and really tried to do something different. And I really, really respect that massively. So I think this is well done. Um, I would probably have just straightened out the glass distortion in Photoshop to make it a straight line. Because at the moment, my eye is just going here um, and down here as well so please just maybe have a look at that and see if that's something that you could correct and then probably second thing for me would be just the lines in the blue but i mean that's me being picky i think this is a really good effort well done okay so i'm gonna stab in the dark here and suggest that this is a self-portrait i think this is actually a really good self-portrait very raw very emotional you know i feel i don't know i'm feeling there's a lot of emotion going on here i think that the um highlights and shadows are really nicely controlled it's a beautifully naturally lit portrait i would maybe have tried to just tone down the shoulders a little bit so that the face was the brightest part of the image because at the moment this arm is the brightest part of the image maybe the front of this arm here but i think this is really nicely done the focus is great I think the pose is nice. Just watch your hands. Maybe a little slightly softer on, on the hand there. Well, like man hands. So, I mean, I'm not really one to talk. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe you could have stretched out your histogram a little bit. Maybe. Um, but that might not have been the look that you were going for. So, and if that's not, then I get that. That's fine. I think it's really good effort and well done for doing something that is so vulnerable. Shall I do a self portrait? No. No. Okay, I know that one where it's kind of like the inverted ball. I like this. I like the fact that we've got this here in the background. I think this is really nicely done. I would have liked a little bit more space below, just a little bit to basically have this ball sat a little bit more here. But I think this is nicely done. Okay. They're such impressive birds. They really are. So I really like this one. I can't help but feel that we're kind of like a bit high. Not in like high but like we're a bit high such i'm so bad at explaining stuff like legit if we could have had the bird's eye like here upper right third would have been great upper right third cross point somewhere around there maybe a little bit more central and had the bottom of the hand the handler's hand in there with the space to the left because the bird is looking at that this would have been a stronger image great separation from the background though great control of the highlights just watch this one here um but yeah i think this is great <laughs> oh this is awesome uh incredible work from the creator of this i think this is brilliant genuinely 
great imagination, a good placement as well so that you're falling over the horizon line. I maybe would have pushed slightly higher up, just a little bit higher up, but that's just personal preference. I think it's good that you've got the focal plane in exactly the right place on the ground there. Um, yeah, loads to love in this image, loads to love. Watch your highlights. I think it will be okay outside of Instagram. Yeah, um, but just, yeah, just watch your highlights. Make sure that they don't creep up a bit too high. Very, very good. This is sweet. We've got some gold leaf leaves in there. I think this is nice. It would have been great to have all of the horse's nose in. So I would have liked the photographer to be two or three inches lower down. And then we would have had the nose in up to the eye and these leaves coming round. Um, but other than that, that's probably my only criticism. The second thing, if I'm going to be super picky, is just I would have just tried to brighten or lighten up the catch light in the eye a little bit because we do have a little catch light kind of going on under there. Just lightening that up would have kind of made the image pop a little bit more. Um, yeah, that would be that. This is interesting, uh, totally different concept and I really like this and I want to love it. The thing that gets me is that it feels like we've got like too much space underneath and not enough space on top. So if you look at this image, you can see the top of the cup. If we're looking at the top of the cup, I'm gonna try and overlay this in some way. The top of the cup is quite near to the top of the frame, but the bottom of the cup has a lot of space below it to the bottom of the frame. If we either center that so that both have the same space above and the same space below, or put so that the bottom element of the image, which is actually the right hand pup flower, at the same level to the bottom, that would have made a more balanced shot. You could then, if you wanted to, leave more space above, because most of the time leaving more space below doesn't work particularly well. So those are my thoughts on this image. I like what you've done. I think it's a nice concept and I think the depth of field is brilliant. This is sweet. Just watch when you're working with merles that you don't go too blue. So in this instance, the, the a merle is shades of gray. So you can use your white runners dropper in, for, in Lightroom and Photoshop to pick one of those points and that will help you set the correct white balance. If that is then too yellow, you can then go through and desat the coat. But the, in this case, the highlights are a little bit hot. So just probably would bring those down a little bit. But that will give you the a, a better white balance when you're working with merles. If you want to introduce the blue and keep the blue, that's fine. But just make sure that you're handling that on the coat as well. This is quite a good capture because I'm imagining that this was genuinely wildlife in the wild, which um, great capture in that case. I kind of like the leafy bits all over the dude's little head there. I think the composition is good. Um, I think it's a great capture. I think it's a good shot. Oh, who doesn't love a moo cow? I love a moo cow. Uh, strange, I, you know, you still kind of call them moo cows. I think this is really well captured. Uh, good uh, separation from the background there, even though we're in kind of a landscape situation. I like the fact that the front's in shade, but the cow's a split light in half in the golden hour light from by the looks of it, um, and half in the shade. I think it's really nicely done. I question whether you need quite so much blue sky up top. I wonder whether something like that would be slightly stronger, but that's just me. Okay, got a lot of white going on in this one. Oh, this is actually a really, really good black and white shot. So black and white shot, I think it's great. Um, I would have liked a little bit more definition around the backs of the birds' heads, but I think creatively, this is a really nice shot. I think this is nicely done. I like the composition. I think the composition is really good. Um, and uh, yeah, I think this is great. Just watch when we're photographing our dogs that we don't pop kind of things coming out of their heads. Same with people, same with horses, same with any subject. So just make sure that you don't have something kind of coming out of the top of their head. Like even now on the camera, I've got the curtain coming out of my head. If my head is all on the curtain or all on the wall, it kind of makes it easier for our eyes to look at. So maybe I just shouldn't sit where I sit. I think this is really nicely done. I do I genuinely do. Difficult condition to be working in with it being bright sunlight because you can see you can see the dapples kind of coming down onto the floor, which would have made this a lot more difficult to do. But great expression from the dog, great interaction with the owner. It's been nice to have seen the owner, but I'm I'm okay with not seeing the owner. Uh, but I think this is a really good capture. Focus is great. Colour's nice, nice and natural. Maybe the background's a little bit light. I don't really mind. I think it's a nice shot. 
There's this nice interaction there between um, pony and the human. I would just really be conscious of in situations like this where you've got the interaction. This interaction is absolutely perfect. So we've got cross interaction with the subject, um, which is really nice. I'm not going to I'm not going to discuss hands and principles on hands and posing today, but these ears. Oh, horses will always have their ears forwards, but at least one, especially the front ear. If we could have had that one forwards, that would have made this shot complete. Uh, really would have. So always check your raw files to see if you've got an ear that you can borrow and stick it on to the shot in Photoshop and do a quick little composite. Yeah, could make all the difference there. This is sweet. I like the storytelling in this one that we've got going on. I think a little, maybe a little bit tight up top, but a really nice shot nonetheless. Naturally edited, not too much going on, really nice. This is a brilliant image um, and I, I like it. We can see we're making a beeline, no pun intended. Maybe. Again. Um, compositionally, I would definitely have kind of come up here with the crop and brought it in. So our B is in the middle. And because the B is moving left, we needed more space to the left. But at the moment, because it's in the middle, it would have been better had this been taken down here, like so. Do you see? Well, that's got impact, doesn't it? Um, what a fantastic image. I have seen this image before, but I know that it's not the norm. Um, for this particular photographer, but I'm not going to pretend I don't know who's done this. It is on it. However, if I'm going to pick one thing and one thing only, which Gina will probably already know, it would be that this image would really suit a centre split and the cat is off centre, it's to the left. So I would personally have gone in like that, maybe a little bit off the top. That focuses more emphasis on the face than that, in my opinion. It's only my opinion. Uh, absolutely great work there, Gina. I think it's an absolutely brilliant image. Panning shot, always tricky to do. You've done really well to get the rider in great crisp sharpness. I think this is well done, well executed in terms of the style of work. Awesome flower shot, awesome flower shot. Genuinely, really, really nice flower shot. I like this. Good action shot, nice and sharp in all the right places. I would personally have just tried to remove that harness out. It wouldn't be too difficult to do. Um, I'll link a video on ways to remove stuff in Photoshop. Um, I will link that above. In terms of composition, I'd like a little bit more underneath here, just a little bit, and maybe a little bit less up top, but I like the fact that you're trying to keep the bokeh in. Beautiful background, beautiful situation. I think a really, really good job. This is a brilliant shot. If you're not, if you don't normally photograph children, then, then you, you, well done. Really great shot. Nicely styled. I like the fact we've got cake on the hands, cake on the face. If anything, I would, which you probably will know, I'll say, so I would have just maybe whipped this out in the background because it's not adding to the shot. So if it's not adding to it, take it away. But other than that, I think this is really sweet. Very, very well done. People. People are always difficult. Um, I, this is a, a good, good shot. It would, be, it would be nice to have a little bit more going on in the skin tones there. Maybe push the highlights a little bit more. Maybe push the contrast a little bit more. Maybe push the warmth a little bit more. Um, magenta a little bit then. We're kind of like getting there with the skin tone now. So that would be my only kind of CCs. Just see if we can just give it that little bit of a kick. Okay, we've got somebody sharp, somebody blurry, somebody even blurrier. So the runner seems like it was going faster than the cyclist, but I love the fact that they're in front of these doors. I think it's really, really nicely done. Very creative. I think it's a good job. We're back. I always run out of recording time when I do these. Short list. What awesome photographs, awesome images. There can only be one winner. Oh, my eye keeps going there. My eye keeps going there and I can't stop it. I love that to be just a little bit more symmetrical or more offset. This one, I'd love to have a little bit less underneath. And a little bit more, kind of maybe here and here, maybe, or closer still. This one, this background bit, 
It just keeps pulling me that way. This one we don't have the definition. This one we got the crop, and this one could have done with being higher. But that's me being a picky Patricia. Hashtag on that. So we need to give out a gold pin, a silver pin, and a bronze pin for this month's challenge. We're gonna go with bronze, silver, and gold. That was really tough. This is so strong, but then so is this. And I just think this is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, let's go ahead and find out who these people are. Fantastic, fantastic work. So we've got bronze from, I don't know how to pronounce it. Please send me a voice note with how to pronounce this properly. I wanna say Renata and pronounce the E, but I don't know. Genosaur coming in there, hot and strong with the silver, never doubted you for a second. And then I, again, pronunciation, very poor. Hit me up with a voice note. can't do it. I can't, can't. Maybe I do. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'll try harder next time. Please send me a voice note or just for someone spell it phonetically. That would be great. So congratulations to all of you guys on here and thanks to everyone for entering this month. I know it was super hard. Should we look at next month's challenge? I think we should. It's time for July. It's going to be a short month this month because of the delay with getting this video out the door. Next month's video is going to be really special indeed, but this month uh, the challenge is going to be action. Now it doesn't have to be action of dogs. It doesn't have to be action of an animal. Theoretically, it can be action of anything, but using the action photography videos, there are two on the channel. I'll link them down in the description below and I'll link the most recent one above using those videos or your own method. I don't care, don't really mind. I wanna see your action photos. You can enter one image this month, one image only, action shot of anything that you would like, judged on the same criteria as normal. All entry instructions will be in the blog post, which I will link below. And I wish you all the very best. If you haven't already, please do consider hitting the subscribe button maybe finding us over on Instagram, which you will need to enter this anyway. Um, and also over in Facebook, in the Facebook group, the guys in the group say I should mention it more often. So there is a Facebook group with over two and a half thousand members in. All of them help each other. It's quite strict rules for what you can post, what you can't post and how you should post, but it's a great group nonetheless. So if you're not there, be there or be square and I'll see you all again really, really soon.